Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, May 10th. This is for all signs. Thursday, May 10th. What do we have for energies for today? Keep in mind that these energies are fluid. The timing is fluid, so... This is just the message I'm picking up on for May 10th, okay? This could have happened, may happen next week. You know how it goes. Look at the cards. Ooh, the lover's card. Okay, so here we have an unexpected choice in love. There's seduction. There is a connection. It could be a soulmate connection. It could be very strong. Um, you know, love heals. Somebody could be connecting with someone and it's helping them to heal from a situation. Um, there is definitely a choice in regards to a union and you will have to make some sort of decision. Okay, it's decision making time. Do you want to go with this or not? This is, it could lead to, you know, true love. Whoever this person is, is somebody that you are going to connect with on many, many levels. It's like this person will be able to see right through you and you will be able to see through them or see into them, you know what I mean? There's a strong, strong connection here between you and another person, okay? It's new, okay? It's a new connection. Somebody has made some conscious changes in their lives, Okay, it's like they've, they've, they've freed themselves of some excess baggage. And that's probably why this unexpected love has shown up. Because somebody has made some conscious changes. All right. Um, they had to let somebody go. And I think we saw this in yesterday's reading. Um, yes, there's been, there was a, somebody that they were you know, incompatible with. And they've come to that realization. I feel like they have let somebody go that they were incompatible with and now the universe is rewarding them with a better connection, a soulmate connection. Um, and you know, here we have decisions, okay? Twos are about decisions and choices and this is a decision as well. So I think that somebody has made a decision to let one partnership that didn't have harmony, it wasn't peaceful, there was too much imbalance and unhappiness They've ended it. They've let it go completely. And I know this is a carry-on, but this is releasing this this partnership where the, it wasn't compatible. I've, I've, I've released it. And because you've released it, you've called in this other person that is more suitable. Okay, this person is not your usual type, but they're more suitable for you. You know, it's like you guys mirror each other. Yeah, it's like somebody had been concentrating on the loss for too long. They were going through some emotional disappointments with this other person, not realizing that they still had the two of cups available with somebody else. They were concentrating on the unhappiness. The three of cups reversed. You know, they were concentrating on, you know, all the, all the heartache that, that was brought on by this. But I feel like there's been some sort of shift. Somebody has made a, they've like kind of collapsed, okay? They've hit rock bottom in this relationship or this holding on to whatever, this old relationship. They've hit rock bottom and they finally decided that they were going to release it for good. This is making that conscious change to freedom. You know, I free myself from this and it brings in this. It brings in your true love. So I feel like right now there's an unexpected choice after a breakup. After a true breakup, you know, truly letting somebody go for real. Interesting. Yeah, there was too much uh, uh too many relationship problems, so somebody has given up on that dream. I've given up on the dream of the past, the past relationship. I've given up on that dream. I'm turning away from it because it's no longer harmonious for me. Okay, there's been too many fights. There's been too many problems. I can't, I can't carry this burden around anymore. So I feel like you guys are absolutely, you've completed one relationship. And I, and I mean, that's, that is what's happened here. It is. Um...
because you know it's funny how this works out what's not funny but somebody like right here there was so much discontent in this relationship that you had to let go of whoever this person was that you had to let go of they weren't offering you anything they weren't they left you wanting more they left you feeling um dissatisfied and um lost okay so I feel like you've, you've finally come to this conclusion that you've only been hurting yourself by holding on to this hurt and this obsession with this person that wasn't giving. They weren't giving you their attention or you didn't want their attention. There was just too much discontent in the relationship. And so therefore, I feel like you guys, have, it's been like a, it's been like a, like that. It's like, okay, no more, no more. I, it's time for me to accept this truth that I've been denying for so long. And I think that when somebody comes to the conclusion that they can't deny it anymore, they accept the truth that this relationship, whoever it was with, didn't work out, it wasn't working out, that they have an Ace of Cups. Okay, they have an Ace of Cups, and they have a Two of Cups elsewhere. And that's what's going on. Because somebody has made a conscious change to let go of somebody that they were not compatible with, the universe is bringing in somebody new unexpectedly, quickly. This person is not your usual type. They do not look like your usual type. They do not act like your usual type. This happens pretty suddenly, pretty quickly. And you could fall in love very, very quickly. Somebody has released an obsession. They had been holding on to emotional hurt and loss. Could be even for years for some of you. Holding on to it, not realizing that there was a new opportunity. But as soon as they make the change, it's like instant. You make the change. You decide to make that conscious change to let this go for good. I'm done with it. I'm not holding on. The new love comes in. Yeah, somebody has released uh, released uh, anxiety. They've let it go. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm not. Wherever, whatever you were holding on to, there was no growth. And I feel like you finally come to the realization that that old relationship, there was no more spark. There was no more growth. There was no more fertility. There was no more passion. So it feels like you had no choice but to make this move let it collapse you guys have reached like a collapse with this ten of wands it's like i have finally hit rock bottom somebody has hit rock bottom within a relationship and they've decided to finally really move on from it it hurt right there was a lot of heartache you know with uh suffering true true uh suffering brings true growth and i feel like even though you may have felt like this relationship that you had to end wasn't bringing you growth it was bringing you growth unfortunately the hard way hurtful growth okay it was unfortunately you know i it, you probably lost a lot of sleep you went through a depressive state there was probably a lot of crying and emotional discontent here you may have withdraw withdrawn yourself you know withdrawal you may have uh felt a loss of self esteem a lot felt a loss of self worth and you know you may have felt like your energy had been drained right from your body you had been sucked dry you may have felt like you couldn't get out of bed you know, because of this obsession, because of this hurt that you were going through from this person who, you know, really was causing a lot of conflict in your life. You may have felt, you know, completely complacent. Um, and you may have lacked a lot of inner strength to even get up and face the day. You know what I mean? But I think that you've hit, you know, when you hit rock bottom, where can you go from there is up. And I think that rock bottom has been hit. Somebody has hit it quite hard. And all of a sudden there's like a, an epiphany kind of moment. And they make this conscious change to drop it to let it go. And then we have this new unexpected choice in love that comes flying in quite unexpectedly 
Yes, it does. It's going to come in very quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's flying. It, before I said flying in before I picked both of these cards. Somebody is coming in very, very quickly for those of you that have truly let go of a hurtful situation. Like flying. They're flying right in quickly. I'm going to get one of these. So today is a day of action. Things are happening. Happening, definitely. Things are happening very quickly, very fast, very impulsive energy. Because there's like, and like I said, the timing is fluid. Could be today, could be yesterday, could be last week, could be next week. You know what I'm saying? This is the energy I'm picking up on today. All of us are on different uh, phases in our journey. So this will resonate with many, but at different times, okay? There's a new opportunity for love here with somebody that you don't expect. This person is not your usual type. It's for those of you that have ended something truly and fully. And it's going to happen very, very, very quickly. Could be with a uh, air sign or a fire sign. And I feel like somebody went through a, a hell of a lot of despair to the point where they hit a serious rock bottom and now they are headed back up. Ooh, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Do it. Do it. Anybody and see what happens. This is a great message. Get out there. I mean, flirt. See what happens. You might just meet the one unexpectedly. I think we'll get one of these too. If you guys would like a quickie reading, you can do Instago with your Apple iPhone, 10 bucks, super quick. You know, um, I'll give you a, well, I don't know how super, within 24 hours you'll get my response, but it will be, and that's pretty quick, you know. If you want a, um, I did do an Android thing, 15 bucks through PayPal. Send me the money to PayPal. Then send me your question with your dates of birth. I need a clear question with dates of birth, please. Or you can book the other readings to the videos. The first two only come with pictures. But the video readings are longer. Whatever, the information is below. Nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take the time to connect and spend quality time outdoors. It's kind of like spring. It is. I mean, you think about spring when everything comes alive again. Somebody hit rock bottom. And like I said, they have sprung up kind of like spring. It's like the winter, the dead end winter is over. And it's time for me to become alive again. And as soon as you liven up, boom. Talk to you tomorrow.